uh, when you pick up a, a, a bat, you have to use your hands. You pick up a pencil, you have to use your hands. You pick up a gun, you have to use your hands. If you pick up a sleeve, you have to use your hands. So it's necessary to teach the dog that the hands is the real damage. Rottweiler Vlogs, episode 141. Mizzle and Mac back out here in Dallas, Texas with the dog lifestyle. This video is dope because we go over personal protection. And also at the end of the video, there's some clips of the Rottweiler meetup that we had. It was a really nice turnout. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And as always, enjoy the content. What exactly is personal protection, Mr. Prophet? Personal protection is exactly what it says. It's personal. It's about your personal space in everyday life, your house, your car, right? 360 degrees and six feet is your personal space. This is where the dog is allowed to protect you at all times, right? If you have a dog that's going through uh, a neighborhood, you're on a six foot lead, you want your dog to demonstrate the composure and the control but at the same time if you need that dog to act out in an aggressive manner and defensively to protect you on a short lead or a six foot lead that is what it is it's personal it's your personal space with a canine do you raise personal protection dogs differently than other dogs absolutely um, I do have one male um, Rottweiler right now that is going through personal protection training. I don't necessarily raise him the same as I do my other dogs in the pack. Um, with him, when he's not working, I have him put away. Um, I don't allow him to engage and socialize and interact with strangers or friends. Um, he only is able to socialize with my family and that's all. What have you learned the most elevating with training? To remain patient. Um, that would definitely be probably the biggest factor I've learned is just to remain patient. Um, also, not seeing videos on the internet or social media and expecting my dog to be able to do that the very next day. Um, I've learned that with anything, it takes time, it takes work. So if you're not dedicated to putting in the time and putting in the work, then don't put so much, you know, emphasis on wanting something you see from another dog. Z is also an amazing personal protection dog who has an, an amazing amount of intensity that we all have gotten to see here on, um, on Rottweiler Vlogs and everybody who comes through the dog life door has gotten to see Z. So what's been the biggest challenges raising personal protection dogs for you? Um, I think the biggest challenge would be is treating my dog like a dog when it needs to be treated like a dog and you know remembering that she's not human so sometimes I want her to be like my little child um, and then the rest of the time I need her to be like a lion, a lionette. So. Nice. Mr. Prophet, somebody who is um, exceptional and nothing short of amazing at what you do. Oh, I, I salute you. Um, please tell us what's the difference between personal protection versus sport. Sport is a game. It's just that. It's a game. You know, if you see sports on television, you say, I'm going to watch the game, right? It's not real, right? Most of what people do in sport is not even lawful when it comes to how they demonstrate what's to be done. And the deception is, is that people believe that that's personal protection. Now, personal protection 
is different, right? It's different in the sense that it deals with your personal environment. It's not about your dog always being aggressive, but willing to defend your personal space, even with his life. So what's the biggest misconception about personal protection? The biggest misconception about personal protection is that um, we're interested in having this volatile dog. We want this volatile dog that's ranting and raving and wanting to eat up people for no apparent reason. It's absolutely false, right? The idea is to give a service, a helping hand to people who are regular everyday people. Something that's very intriguing about filming you is your use of your hands. Yes, sir. Please tell us, what are you doing with your hands? Well, <laughs> wow, that's a great question, sir. The, the hands it, are so significant to personal protection. Uh, when you pick up a, a, a bat, you have to use your hands. You pick up a pencil, you have to use your hands. You pick up a gun, you have to use your hands. If you pick up a sleeve, you have to use your hands. So it's necessary to teach the dog that the hands is the real damage. That's where the real damage comes from. So you have to in introduce that to the dog first before you introduce weapons. So the hands are the most significant in the development of a personal protection dog. We would like to definitely thank you, Mike, for coming back once again and allowing us to be on your platform. Um, it's definitely you know, a growing platform, a platform that we truly enjoy. Um, you can definitely follow us on Instagram at DFW Dog Life. That is DFW Dog Life. Dog is spelled D A W G. You can also call us for any training um, questions, any training quotes at 469 886 8003. Nice. And I appreciate all three of you. Thank you for being on Rottweiler Vlogs. Dog Life has a lot of episodes, but I must say it because this is my tagline. 141 is your episode. Thank you. <laughs>